Tell me about Reza and Ben. Are, are they? You think you'll have them back? Um, Reza will be. He'll be available. Um, he's he's feeling a lot better than he did last week, and then kind of to what extent or what day of the tournament, I'm not sure just yet. But he's definitely feeling better, and um, you know, good to get him back in the fold. He's a big part of you know some of the the really good relief pitching um, that we had um, throughout the season. Rez he developed into a guy that. We could really go to and bridge the gap from our starters to our closer, and he closed some games out as well. So good to get him back. Uh, Ben's feeling quite a bit better. He'll be available later in the tournament as well. Um, and so those two guys come back to us this week. Yeah, and you're not an excuse maker, but boy, I'm going to guess if you get two or three more days before it started, that wouldn't be bad for your crew because your crew's been grinding a long time <laughs> and, and had yeah. to and done it really well, but. Yeah. Grinding wears on you. Yeah, it does. Um, but you know, it's it's the season, and it's why um, I think what it, what it helps you see as a coach, and, and I hope our fans appreciate this, is despite all the injuries, despite all the highs and lows, despite all those things, we're still sitting here competing at a very high level, and our kids have done a heck of a job. And I really admire the kids for their toughness. Uh, I admire them for sticking with it. I admire them for showing the ability to adjust and adapt. You know, some teams, if things don't go their way, they just cash it in and say it wasn't meant to be or those injuries were more than we could handle or they, they come up with lots of um, justification in their own minds as to why they shouldn't succeed. Our kids haven't done that. Our kids have decided that despite those things, we're going to find a way to succeed and um, probably in some ways created an expectation or a feel uh, almost as if that for some reason this was going to be easy or, or that we were entitled to this. And that's just simply not how this works. Uh, winning championships and competing in a high level conference like this is, is uh, it's tough. And our kids represented us and played their tails off. I couldn't be more proud of them. Talk about this tournament. You uh, started out at four o'clock tomorrow against uh, uh, a very good West Virginia team. You guys played them in Morgantown earlier in the season. How do you feel about the, uh, the tournament? I'm excited. Uh, first time we've got to play in a tournament like this where uh, all the conference teams are together. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of good competition is going to be going around. Uh, I think you're going to see everybody's best lineups, best arms every single day. So uh, as long as we come prepared and uh, ready to roll, I think I think it's going to be a good a good weekend for Oklahoma State.